Hi, I'm Jennifer Whalen. I'm Meredith McNeil. Hi, I'm Aurora Brown from Baroness Von Sketchup. What was I like as a teenager? I think, I think I was wondering what I was like when I was a teenager. I was pretty wholesome. I was the wholesome kind of goth. I think I was okay. I was a valedictorian. I did the sports. I read the announcements over the intercom in the morning one year. I was in the musical in high school. I was super ner nerdy. I loved the Smiths. I wore a lot of black. Um, I read a lot of Sylvia Plath. <laughs> If I could go back to high school, knowing what I know now, I'd be a little more chilled out. Yeah, I just don't think I would go. I think I would escape more. Like, I remember being a teenager and like escaping from parties. Like if it got really tense and weird or there was like too much, I was like, oh, you gotta make out with someone now. I'd always be like, oh look, there's a bike in the garage. We should all jump on it and ride around the block. There are lots of people I'm friends with on Facebook now and I'm like, why didn't I talk to them more in high school or ask them about this? You know, you're just so busy kind of like trying to make it through. You just don't have like the mental space to just be like, hey, what's new with you? Um, I also was very good at, at, at skipping class. Um, so I think I just wouldn't go. I think I'd give some kid my assignment and just, I would be doing something else. I'd be listening to the Smiths in my basement, moping. So I wanted to be cool, like in grade six, but not cool, but just like, smart and everyone's like that kid knows things. I went to this very weird high school that um, was built to hold 700 kids and when I went there there were 2,000 students. We were doing uh, fundraising for the competitive rowing team that I was on, another part of my wholesomeness. But anyway there was this cat it was like almost decomposed so and I was like I'm gonna go get its spine and so like it still had a tiny bit of hair in it but anyway I picked it up and I like just like and I got the spine and then I put it in a Sobeys bag and I thought oh my god when I go to Mrs. Miles science class everyone's gonna think I'm so cool because I have an actual spine. Uh, there was portable where I remember like every morning uh, the kids in the class would pick uh, an item from the portable like it could be an overhead projector it could be um, a kid's desk it could be the teacher's desk and they would all take it and take it out the door and throw it over the fence of the neighboring house into the yard because one of the kids' dads, well, obviously the kid lived there too, that was their house. And so the kid's dad every morning would be like, overhead projector, I believe this is yours. Desk, I believe this is yours. So that happened. This chicken barn was like a kilometer long and it was a hot, hot summer night. It was, it was really humid and it felt like a circle of hell because it took forever it was hot, the roof was lower than the room that we're in now, and there were thousands of chickens. And there were, th you know, it, it, there were three to a cage, and they had come to the end of their laying life. And we were little, you know, teenagers with maybe not even our full adult strength, and they were like, okay, so you gotta like reach in, grab the chicken by the leg, and just pull it out real quick before it knows what's happening, because then it won't be able to like catch itself on the thing. But you know that moment in life, as soon as you do it, you're like, I shouldn't have done that? It was a real traumatic fundraising event. <laughs> as soon as I did it, I was like, this wasn't a good idea. Okay, here's the lesson. You may think it's a great idea to get an asymmetrical haircut because you want to edge up your look. The key lesson I take away with me, if you are feeling pressure at a New Year's party that you have to make up with someone, you don't. One of the, the most easily summed up things my mom said to me once, I was stressing about like, oh, I have to do this and then go somewhere the next day, she said, should I fly? She was like, your time is worth money. And I was like, yes, my time is worth money. And you may go to the hairdresser who may say to you repeatedly, I'm not sure this is a good idea. Well, you go, no, 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 no. Listen to all those people. It's a terrible idea. It will take you two years to grow out. Don't do it. Your time is worth money.